Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss Six Sigma. Six Sigma is a process improvement that was developed by a company called Motorola in the mid 80s and the person that coined the concept or the father of this concept is Bill Smith. That's him and he was working on pagers. The defect rate for producing the those pagers was high and he decided to do something about this. So it's a data driven approach to eliminate defects. That's what Bill wanted to do. They were producing pagers and many of them were defective. Reduce variation and processes ultimately lead to what? Improved quality. That's the key and efficiency. So the name Six Sigma refer to the goal of achieving a process performance level that is six standard deviation away from the mean of the process output. Simply put, you want to produce as many units as possible where, while elim almost eliminating, you have to be six, six standard deviation from the mean. So what does that mean? So if you are producing uh, the corresponding to a defect rate no more than 3.4 parts, per million. So if you are producing a million, what's acceptable is only 3.4 3 parts per million. That's acceptable. So to understand this concept, just kind of, again, work with numbers. Let's assume a company is producing 1,000 units per day. Well, if the defective rate is 3.4 per million, this means only 3.4 units out of every 1 million unit produced are defective. It means the majority of the remainder are good, not defective. So this is incredibly high standard and requires a level of precision and control that's not achievable through traditional quality control methods, it's basically going crazy on Six Sigma. Let's take a look at an example. How does it work step by step? Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. So the Six Sigma methodology requires several steps. The first step is obviously to define the problem. What are we dealing with? So let's assume we are dealing with the defective rate. We have a high defective rate. Next, measure the current performance. Well, we have three defects per 10,000 unit. This is what we have right now. Well, the next, analyze the problem. Analyze the data to identify the root causes, why? Why are we having three defects per 10,000 unit? Well, let's assume we identified its machine calibration. The machines need to be calibrated better. Well, improve the process by implementing solution. Now we're gonna calibrate the machine. Then we're gonna go through a controlling process to ensure that the environment are sustained, making sure it's working, making sure that the defect defective rate went down, the defect rate went down. So you have to understand Six Sigma can be used in many industries, manufacturing, healthcare, finance, to improve processes, reduce costs, and enhance, enhance customer satisfaction. It required special training, special certification program, and it has become a quality standard for quality management in many organizations. So achieving Six Sigma, if you have Six Sigma, it's not an easy feat. It's not an easy uh, goal and requires significant effort and resources of so a company is Six Sigma. That's great. Six Sigma certified or they, they follow the Six Sigma. It means they take quality extremely, extremely seriously. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, whether you are studying for your CPA, CMA, accounting students or some other professional organization to learn more about these philosophies. Good luck, study hard and of course, stay safe.